Okay, friends and family, I got a smile on and I'm in my garden. I just happened to buy something that I've been talking to my family about for about three years, probably going on four. We've even joked about coming up with some brand names, things to do with uh, what I'm about to unbox and show you. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm stoked. But just to give you some reference, so I got a coupon at one of my local discount stores called Ollie's or Ollie's. I don't know what the how to pronounce it, but I bought an entire kit to get started for $140. Sorry about it, I'm looking at my notes because I went and done some research on it. So Ollie's $140 for this three-piece kit, and there's other pieces inside the kit. Um, Walmart has it online for $279, Costco $274, eBay $279, and Man Lake, Man Lake B Company, which is right here in my town, has a similar product for $169, but with extra items, it's $220. Again, I bought this kit for $140. Now, saving some money, I did get a uh, loyalty discount and the regular store discount uh, at all these. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I should make you think, uh, I don't know, this is pretty exciting. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a sneak peek and then um, I'll give you a real quick glance at what, uh, at what we're uh, about to unbox together. It's a tiny house for bees. So here's what I got. I got a suit medium. And unfortunately the suit, it, it didn't tell you uh, the body size. It's just small, medium, large. They didn't have any large, so that's what I got. And then I got, sorry about the back shadow. So there's uh, supers. I didn't want to get the big squares because I know that they uh, weigh about 70 to 80 pounds depending on how full they are. So same idea just split into two parts so they're manageable. And then I got the main box itself, complete kit. So I know they, um, it's got $79. 39 for the super and $30 for the suit but again $140 with my discount yay okay so we're gonna unbox this together so I'm gonna put the, uh, the main box on top of my uh, greenhouse for now until I can get something better. I'm gonna point the front uh, entrance away from the wind. Uh, and then I'm gonna take out a couple of the inserts and go to uh, Man Lake and see if I can get some bee uh, fluid that attracts the bees to hopefully make this a permanent home. I'll leave this in place for a couple weeks. If it doesn't take, I'll take it out to my daughter's house and see if we can get some wild bees out there. All right, I'm gonna unbox this thing. Okay, friends and family, sorry to bring you inside, but it started raining pretty good out, out, outside. The, uh, I didn't see no clouds, but it's, uh, it's pretty bad. It's raining hard. No thunder lightning, but anyways, brought this kid inside. We're gonna unbox it from in here.
instructions on how to set it up outside.
take three in each. Alright, now let's set it up all together. go. I sure like this one, this door. You can actually see the bees and see uh, when the kids, grandkids come over or something like that or I just want to see what's going on. Lower the window, door, see what's going on. Take care of the bees. So thanks for coming in and uh, enjoying uh, the unboxing of my first beehive. Now to get some bees and I'm gonna paint this box and put my logo up on the front so the bees know exactly where their home is. Thank you, see you on the next video. Smile while you're gardening. Okay, friends and family, so I got it outside, it stopped raining. So I put two racks on the right, two racks on the left. Try to invite the queen and maybe a baby, you know, a small swarm to come in. Let me close the All right. So it's out of the wind. It's got right now it's in shade, but it does have sun the evening and the door has a really really great look at the garden that's growing super well now the uh, this is just the main hive I'm just gonna set it out for now the um, so the super will be boxed back up and put inside until the hive is ready to start producing some honey but for now we're gonna strap this thing down and make sure it don't fall over in case some animals try to get up on it. And um, I'm gonna continue doing some uh, reading and research, call some professionals. And, um, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to put this thing up on the roof. Let's, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Smile while you're garden. Love you guys.